Hi guys, um, I just bought this uh, uh, sandblast gun from Harbor Freight and Gravity Fed and uh, I want to do the review on it, how is it going to work. So, open the box, in the box we got the gun itself. And and the manual. So uh, you have to put adapter to a quick release. So I bought it the Harbor Freight too. Put some Teflon tape on it. Okay, that would be plain. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to sandblast this aluminum and uh, I want to strip the paint of my aluminum boat so that's gonna be my test piece. It's the same pa paint came from the same boat so we'll see. Uh, also I pick up some sand from Home Depot so uh, I'm going to fill it up now and see what it looks like, see what it does. So it says recommended uh, pressure is 90. So I set up my pressure gauge to about a 90 running pressure. So here we got the, the lever to open and close the, the hopper. So uh, we'll see. It doesn't work out of the box. It does not work. Put my air compressor to shut off. But it doesn't work out of the box. It does not work. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the hopper and drill a hole like somebody suggested in the reviews uh, to drill a quarter inch hole in the in the hopper and and in the metal part right here so uh, that's what we're gonna do all right so to take it apart there's two uh, allen screws right here we're gonna remove them and the hopper slides right off there's a hole in there but it looks like it's too small there's also an o-ring right in there so we have to take that off and as you can see the holes I don't know if you can see it or not but they're not aligned anyway so we're gonna drill that out too and uh, there is a pin that holds this in place so I'm gonna remove that pin too I'm gonna try to take it out with a, a drill bit same size see if it's gonna work Oop. 
come flying out. So when you're gonna do this, make sure you watch where is it flying. All right. Well, I guess I'm gonna find it later. So we'll take it out, take the thing out. That's what it looks like. So I'm gonna drill this hole a little bigger too. All right. So have to drill the hole. bigger. You know what? I'm gonna go the next size up. Alright, so I'm doing 1764 in the hopper. It's bigger than than it was. And I'm gonna drill in the gun right here too. that looks like all the way to the bottom so uh, let me blow it out real good Yep, that's drilled all the way. And uh, now I'm going to put this in the vice grips and drill that hole out. Okay, so I drill that hole was a 1564th of drill, drill bit. Now I'm just going to reassemble everything and see what it, see how it works. Hmm. That hole is still off center. So I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to move this hole that way a little bit so it would be in the in the middle. Okay, so I got this handy chain sharpening file and make that hole bigger. Make it uh, make it like oval make it move it one way so now when you put it in it's in the middle so I have to put put the pin back in okay got the pin back And, uh, just reassemble everything because of the, the we drilled the hole bigger so probably I'm not sure a hundred percent but probably you can see a little space right there and uh, it won't shut off the media completely unless you're using like a I mean sand is gonna stop it but if you use like soda it's not gonna stop it completely but it's a big enough hole for uh, for the scent to go through so we should be good let's put it all together and check it out again put the, slide the hopper back nope I have to I had the o-ring put the o-ring back in there
Now we can slide the hopper back and press it in. And the little Allen screw. The other way. I've seen a lot of reviews for this gun, but nobody was showing the modification to it. I don't know why. I think it's really helpful. Alright, that's in. So, uh, we'll see what it does. If the modification worked or not. Alright, so I'm going to refill it with sand and we're going to try it again. Okay, um, one more modification is I drill a hole right there in the front for uh, my air compressor don't have a moist fixture, uh, filter so uh, it clogs up sometimes like like right in here clogs up so I drill a hole right above it and uh, that way if it clogs up I can just put the uh, wire in there and clean it up real quick and uh, now what I do is I have I have this plug from my car, but you can get you can buy them in uh, just a quarter inch plug and whatever, and just close it, and that's it. And I love it; worked like a charm. Okay, so I refilled it with sand, and like I said, it's not stopping because of the hole is bigger. It's not really. Well, it stops a little bit, but still leaking out sand. So, uh, we're going to check it out how it's blasting now. Oh, forgot to turn it on. I need my glasses. Okay, got my glasses. And it's working magic. That's pretty good. I like that. Nice finish, nice mate. Matte finish. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do the boat with it. I hope. Uh, shut off the air compressor. But don't forget the glasses. Don't never forget the glasses. And. Uh, I hope you liked the video and with a little modification it'll be the best sandblast gun you got for 20 bucks and uh, if you liked the video if it was helpful please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the thumbs up and uh, see you next time have a good one